What's going on, everybody on YouTube? Steve here, Rake and Profit, rakeandprofit.com. Come back to you guys with another early morning video. Today's video is going to be all about how to make money on eBay. And specifically, we're going to be diving into how to make money selling men's sleepwear and robes. So from time to time, I do this quite often. I, I'll literally just go into eBay. Uh, I'll go into the sold listings and I'll dive into like a specific category. So selling clothing on eBay, there's a lot of opportunities out there, but there's also a lot of different styles from jeans to pants to blazers, sport coats, suits, casual shirts. You know, you could dive into ties and hats and there's, there's just a lot of different items you can sell within fashion and clothing. Um, but we're diving into men's sleepwear and robes. And essentially all I've done for you guys is, is done the legwork. I went into the sole listings. I found some men's uh, robes and sleepwear items that sold between uh, anywhere between like $30 and a little bit over 100 I think one sold for 166 So we're going to go over the brands, over the styles, talk a little bit about the listings and get you guys in the right position to start making money on eBay, selling clothing items and uh, specifically men's sleepwear and robes. So a good weekend. Uh, it's Sunday. I know we got the week starting tomorrow. I got a lot of things to do today. I'm really excited, really grateful to uh, have this opportunity to be chatting with you guys for a little bit. Uh, but let me shout some people out. Deb, we got TK. What's going on, TK? Arbitrage Ninja, what's going on? Optimus517, good morning. Good morning, Tom. We got Randy Martin in the house. What's up, dude? Hey. Hey, handsome. Ooh, starting the day off right. That is what I like to hear. Hi, gorgeous. Rad seller, good to see you. I appreciate it. 11 likes, 39 people coming in early morning to learn. So let's get this show on the road. What's up, Brian? Good to see you. Um, share my screen with you and we'll we'll dive right into this. Okay, let's get the sharing going down because I'm Karen. See. All right. So you should be able to see my screen right now. Uh, let me know if you can see my screen, guys. I just want to get confirmation that you can hear me and see my screen well. And, and we'll dive right into the show and we'll start talking about some of these. Uh... So if you could see the screen right now, I literally just went into the soul listings. Um, clothing, shoes, and accessories down to men's clothing, and then dove a little deeper into the men's sleepwear and robes. Um, I clicked pre-owned on the left-hand side right here. I put in a price of 35 and above, buy it now, US only, just to make sure that the currencies are accurate for this presentation and uh, sold listing. So this is bringing back all the men's, you know, robes and sleepwear items that have sold for $35 or more pre-owned, um, buy it now and sold within the United States recently. So these have sold within the last, I think, week or so. So this is going to be very, very accurate information. Trash Ninja says, looks good and sounds good. Mike Rowley, good to see you. Lisa, Ashley, Al, what's going on? Ashley says, good morning from, that's awesome. Well, good morning from Connecticut. Okay, let's dive right into it, guys. Um, item that I found in the sold listings that sold was actually from a, a top rated seller right here. hundred percent feedback, 921 feedback. Um, title reads Ralph Lauren pajama set, lounge pants, top sleepwear, red plaid, cotton medium. So first and foremost, great title. A lot of good keywords in here. Obviously you want to have the brand first. That's important. Pajama set, lounge pants, sleepwear. So that's three good keywords. Top, um, that might be another good keyword because there's the top and the bottom, but I know sleepwear, lounge pants, and pajama set. Some great keywords. Um, $39.99. So it's just a, you know, a two-piece pajama set right here. Really nice red plaid uh, Ralph Lauren item. Just really nice. You know, I would actually like to have like a sleepwear set like this. This actually looks pretty cool. So size medium, 100% cotton. Now, I want you to pay attention to the colors that are selling well, the materials that are selling well. Um, I've sold a few robes over the last four or five years. Hasn't been a ton. I don't see them very often, uh, every now and then. But um, in any event, this sold for $39.99. It is the green tag, right? 
There are going to be different colors of tags as well when it comes to Ralph Lauren. So some are going to do better than others. Uh, but $39.99, only $4.25 shipping, which really smash this thing down and get it into one of those padded flat rate envelopes, possibly. Um, right there, I would have liked to charge a little more. Uh, scrolling down to the description, looks like they've included some measurements, which is important to take note. Measurement, right? We have the waist and the inseam, very important. Uh, the top, it looks like they've included a couple measurements. The, the chest, right, from the pit to pit. The shoulders, from the shoulder seam to the shoulder seam. Uh, and the sleeve length from the shoulder seam down to the hem uh, of the shirt, four button lounge shirt, just a great listing right here. I really like it. You know, you might be thinking, wow, this description looks pretty basic and simple, but I think it looks good. There's not a ton of characters. It's going to show up fine. Um, in mobile, right? Which most people are buying mobile nowadays. Nowadays. Um, great item that sold thirty nine ninety nine. Next up is a brand that I wasn't familiar with. Um, maybe in the past I've come across this brand. Maybe I've even sold it. I don't think so. Um, maybe I've researched this before, but I just, I don't remember it, right? Um, the brand is Derek Rose. So, thing to me because I didn't really recollect the brand name. Uh, here's the tag right here, Derek Rose. So, it's made in England. You know, I'm pretty confident I've never sold this item. And I'm pretty confident I've never... Um, even research this item. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. But anyways, $69.99 this item sold for. Title reads, Derek Rose, navy blue. Uh, polka dot. I don't see any polka dots, do you? Oh, yeah. It's it's kind of hard to see. It's not the greatest pictures. It looks like the seller's struggling with the light a little bit. Looks like they were using maybe just like the light from the window. Probably could have benefited from, you know, $40 light set on, on Amazon or eBay. Uh Satin? I'm not sure. Is that satin? I'm, that's not satin. I'm not sure what that is. Striped long mid calf wrap robe medium. So, um, not the greatest pictures, but it sold for $69.99. Let's check out the description. See full item description. It's making me open it up in a second tab. 100% cotton made in England. Size medium. They've got the sleeve. They got the length. They've got the shoulders. Have the uh, chest measurement. That's interesting. A uh, couple different features. Not a bad listing. Um, you know, I don't really have anything bad to say. I, I would improve the pictures. The pictures are a little rough, uh, but sold for sixty nine ninety nine. So Derek Rose. What I would do um, is I would actually go into like the sold listings and I would type in Derek Rose. It looks like pajamas is one of the first keywords that's coming up. So what I would do is I would type that in, and then I would hit sold to. Uh, just us pre-owned and i would just want to see what are the other ones selling for like is this a good brand um this one was 109 dollars um is associated with this brand which is a very high-end brand right here uh bergdorf uh goodman uh here's another one 29.99 26.99 1950 so it looks like they're all over the place it looks like if you find like a more interesting design might go for a little more. This one sold for 32. Um, but you always want to dive a little deeper into the brand. It's a brand I'm sure we're all familiar with. If you've been buying and selling clothing, this is a solid brand. Uh, the brand is Brooks Brothers. So we have a pair of Brooks Brothers. Um, looks like this might possibly be unisex because I see in the title it says men's and women's. This is a set, right? The top and the bottom looks like it's all pure white. Oh, it just looks like it was like, if I was just to guess, I would say it's like, it looks like silk, but the title says cotton. So I'm probably wrong. Sold for $45 right here. Um, pretty nice little pajama set. Very interesting mannequin. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's, that's unique. Uh, let's take a look at the, the tag. So there's the tag right there. Medium Brooks brothers, all cotton machine wash warm. Uh, medium right there so it looks like there's a woman selling this very nice nails let's see what else we got here beautiful set of brooks brothers pajamas for men or women so we got a unisex pair these pajamas are solid white with blue piping detail and single single left breast pocket made of 100 percent cotton um a bunch of measurements i like to see that so we got the sleeve we got the chest we got the shoulders to him which is the you know the length of the sleeves uh, or is it not the shoulders to the hem? So that's the length of the actual shirt from top to bottom. Then we have the chest, armpit to armpit, sleeve length, right from the cuff to the 
shoulder seam, and then we have the shoulder seam to shoulder. So I like that. Four measurements, very solid. Um, and they also say all measurements are taken with the garment laying flat. So cool. Brooks Brothers right there. This one was a little surprising right here. It didn't sell for a ton. I actually thought it sold for 80, but once I opened up the listing, it looks like it sold for um, some, some listings have auction and buy it now on it. Um, so even if you search buy it now, sometimes auctions will show up. But this sold for $28 plus shipping to Farmington, Michigan. Uh, here we have a, a very unique, this is a quilted Eddie Bauer um, robe, right? So it's a quilted Eddie Bauer robe, goose down, according to the listing. Um, again, another unisex men's or women's right here. Just different, unique. Um, looks pretty comfortable, actually. Like if you live in a cold climate, maybe it's really cold or you're in Alaska or something or Connecticut at this time where I live. Um, just a nice little robe right there. Let me see if I can show you a picture of the tag. Now, I don't have a selling Eddie Bauer. It's not my favorite brand to sell, but some of these older vintage style Eddie Bowers, you know, I did a video the other day about so there was a jacket that had sold for 80 and I was like so surprised. And somebody said, you know, you know, maybe somebody had that exact jacket 15 years ago and they wanted it and they saw it and there weren't any other listings and they paid for it. So that's just the way it is. Sometimes a tag or a brand won't specifically be the most profitable brand in the world. But if you come across a unique item, and Eddie Bauer definitely has some older unique items, um, there might not be a lot of them on the market. Dictate your own price. So, anyways, twenty-eight bucks, not a huge score. You know, you're not going to make a ton of money, but just want to share that with you. Let me jump into the uh, the comments real quick, see if I could answer any questions, see what's going on, how many people we got watching. So we have forty-six people watching live right now. So good morning, everybody. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, do me a big favor and hit that like button. Looks like we got about 50 people watching live right now, only 22 likes. So if we get up to 100 likes today, which I think we could because there's a lot of people coming in and out, I'm going to give away some prizes. So let's see if we get some likes in here. Definitely appreciate that. Boston's best flips, waving. What's going on? How am I saying that Florida's hidden treasures? Do I have my no comment? Anyways, um, Deb says I didn't think men even wore pajamas anymore. I've worn them before. Pajamas are actually pretty comfortable. I need to get myself a pair of colors saying holy ish on the Derek Rose website. Some robes are a thousand dollars new. That's crazy. Berkeley Wiley, what do you think about that, man? Would you spend a thousand dollars robe? Resell Devil 666. Rose is the basketball player? I'm not sure. Um, uh, what's going on, everybody? So I don't see any comments coming in. Everyone's just saying hello, making fun of my pronunciation of unisex or just the way I'm saying it, my tonality. <laughs> it's early. Next item, uh, Pendleton. You guys, I'm not going to talk too much about this. Pendleton's a great brand. Um, you know, these, these wool, virgin wool, sold a couple of them. I actually had one experience where I bought one and it was just never bought it. It was it was kind of messy. It had some issues with it and when I say this it's going to sound kind of disgusting, but it had like crust on it. I don't know what type of crust it was. I honestly don't care to find out. But I ended up dropping it off at this was years ago. This was probably, I don't know, three and a half years ago, but I, I bought it. I was so excited that I found one. I think the comps were showing like at that time for that specific model, I think they were showing anywhere between like a 75 and a hundred. I think I paid 10 and it was dirty and it was kind of smelly and crusty and I'm sorry, it was just disgusting. And I ended up dropping it off at the um, dry cleaners and it was actually quite expensive to get it dry clean considering it was wool and they had to do some type of special treatment or something from, from what I remember. And it was, I don't know, it might've been like $20 plus to, to clean and I don't know, it was just a big process dropping it off. I had to wait. They took like forever to get it done. And then I got it back home and I found like a rip in it. I don't know if the dry cleaner had ripped it or if there was a mist. And that's one thing to be on the lookout for when you're dealing with Pendleton specifically and anything that's wool or cashmere. Just hidden flaws. They just seem to be hiding, you know, under the armpits and just various places. But ended up selling it for like 50 or 60 bucks. And it really wasn't worth my time after. So just be on the lookout for Pendleton, but make sure it's in good condition. Um, 
these things can get a little crazy. Uh, here's a, uh, a Playboy robe. I don't know if you guys realize this or not, but Playboy actually has their own clothing line. Uh, robes. I've sold Playboy, I believe, polo shirts, a couple of them, or T-shirts. I want to say polo shirts. Uh, but anyways, yeah, Playboy, Hugh Hefner, right now that he's passed, I'm not sure if the value of his clothing items or his brand has increased or not. I'm not sure. Might want to do some research into that. Uh, but here we have a Playboy robe, size large slash extra large, red and black striped belted Hugh Hefner costume. So very interesting. That might be a good keyword, Hugh Hefner, or Hugh Hefner, or just costume might be a good keyword. Uh, Playboy robe right here, $39.99 plus $7 shipping. Pictures. Would have liked the seller to include a couple more measurements, right? That chest measurement's essential. Um, they did include the, the length from the shoulder to the hem, right? So the length of the item, but sleeves would have been nice. Uh, shoulder seam to shoulder seam would have been nice. Um, still sold pretty well. Next up, we have actually a pair of uh, bottoms, right? Burberry body, uh, body pajama pants, size small, $50, right? It's got that uh, that bread and butter kind of Nova check, Burberry, you know, Burberry. This is a great looking item right here. Um, let me see if I can show you the tag. So it's actually called Burberry body. So I was never familiar with that. But anyways, Burberry, that's a, that's a nice tag right there. Nice design. Uh, a little wrinkled up, but who cares? I mean, it sold for 50 bucks right there. Pretty cool. Next up, we have a brand that sells extremely well when it comes to men's robes and pajamas, right? I already sold, I already showed you a pair of that sold. And now we have a robe, 1992. I love the colors. I love the pony on the front. Uh, this sold for $44.99 with free shipping. You know, we've got that navy blue or purple. I don't know. That looks looks purple, but I, I know that's not the purple label one. Anyways, the blue Ralph Lauren polo tag, $44.99. Uh, description reads, cotton made in Brazil, good vintage condition. Yeah, I like it. That is definitely vintage. It's older. You can definitely tell it's from the 90s. Nice item right there. Uh, it says 1992 P Wing Snow Beach spell out. So it looks like they're using a lot of keywords. Um, love Ralph Lauren. There's a big following for it, especially the vintage stuff with cool colors. I mean, this is just screaming vintage all day long. Here we have a brand I typically don't buy or sell. I'll be honest with you. I don't know if I've ever sold Perry Ellis. Maybe I have maybe a cashmere sweater or something. Uh, but here we have a hundred percent silk bathrobe. I've actually done pretty well with silk bathrobes and just silk items in general. It's a great material to, uh, be on the lookout for when selling clothing on eBay. But, uh, here we have a Perry Ellis, Perry Ellis, hundred percent silk bath robe size, large, extra large sold for $42 plus three eighty shipping, which Oak is a very light material, so they were probably able to squish this into a uh, flat rate. Who knows? This could have even gone first class. These things are so light. Um, cool design. There's the tag. A little diamond design. Description reads, Perry Ellis, 100% silk bathrobe. This robe is pre-owned in great condition. It is super soft. I can agree. Silk is very soft. Ask questions if you have any because there are no returns. Pictures are part of the description. Comes from a smoke-free and a pet-free home. Screw off. I'm just kidding. I don't know why I said that. But it just, I don't know. I don't like when you write it like that. Ask questions because there's no returns. Trust me. If I'm a customer and I want a return, I'm going to get a return. Um, that's just the way it works with PayPal. I mean, I hate returns. Trust me. I don't I don't like people who very often. I, I I feel like some people are a little malicious about it, but most people are good. Um, but I'll tell you right now, whoever this seller is, uh, or Ash001, I'm going to buy this and I'm going to return it. I'm just kidding. Uh, wow, this is a very, very high-end brand right here. Charvet? I don't know. C-H-A-R-V-E-T. Very high-end. I've sold this brand probably, I don't know, seven or eight times over the last four or five years. I've never sold a robe. Uh, I've sold this in uh, dress shirts, right? They make very, very nice dress shirts. Very expensive, very high end. Uh, this is a brand from Paris right here. This is Silk. 166 buckaroos. Menswear Market came in with 4,600 plus reviews. Flip this for 166. I have no idea if they're consigning these items or if they're picking them from thrift stores or not. Let's take a look at this, the full description. 
Charvet, fine silk pajama shirt with shawl la lapels. Half lining, three front pockets, cuff sleeves, and waist high. Made in France. Uh, uh, what do we have next? We have a brand, actually another brand I'm not familiar with. Duke and Dingham. That, I have no idea. Velvet. Ooh. We got a beautiful velvet navy Leopold luxury smoking jacket robe. This sold for $69. This is very, very unique in a couple of ways. Uh, looks like they have that, that quilted shawl kind of collar area, whatever you want to call that. I don't know what, what you would call it, but it's velvet. That's got to be, this has got to be something really, really nice to, to wear. Very comfortable, right? Look at that um that label right there, Duke and Dingham. Uh, I'm actually a little interested. Let me let me copy that. Uh, go to type that in robes. I want to see what these are selling for. There might not be a lot of them on the market. So I see a couple, one for 140 best offer and then one for 69. They both sold within a couple days. So very interesting right there. Dive into the comments, see what folks are saying. 37 likes, definitely appreciate that. It's romantic voice. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing this morning. I'm going crazy. Hey, Red Rocket, good to see you. Seller says, screw off. That impersonation of that seller was awesome. Red seller, you got to come on the show one of these days, and uh, we'll just impersonate other sellers. We'll just make fun of them. It'll be fun. The pajama bottoms will look great on you, Steve. They might. You, you never know. Flip says, I would hang on to that Playboy stuff since Hef passed. Could sell to a collector one day. Maybe. There's a lot of them out there, though, so I don't know. Uh, Mike Raleigh says, how about giving away the 100 best jeans brands book? We could do that. We can definitely give that away. So you know what? How about if we hit 50 likes? Because I don't think we're going to hit 100 likes right now. There's just It's just too early. I don't think enough people are going to sign on. We'll be okay with this. Um, but we, myself, Prof Sales and his wife, we created this book called uh, 101 Killer Women's Jeans Brands. And we released it recently. Um, it's it's available for sale, but we're going to give that away for free if we can hit 50 likes. So Mike Raleigh wants it. So Mike, we're giving it to you. Well, we're not giving it to you, but we're giving you the chance to win it. Great idea. Um, maybe you'll win. Maybe you won't. We'll see. All right, let's dive into the comments. Uh, into back into the um, excuse me, back into the eBay sold listings. And uh, if we get 50 likes when I come back, we're going to give away that book. So here we. We have a really unique looking Christian Dior uh, silky satin paisley designed $35 plus $4.99 shipping. I, I think the picture looks absolutely fabulous. I love how the uh, seller, who whoever love your closet is, I love your photography, right? Um, look at that paisley design. Wow. I mean, that's screaming like... You know, if you could find that design in like a Ralph Lauren button front shirt, bada bing, bada boom, the profits are coming soon. Uh, uh, the description says, let's see, polyester, removable belt. We got some measurements, what I like to see. Um, they've got their payment information. She says, I love my customers. I will leave feedback when I ship your item. Please leave feedback for me after you inspect it. Thank you. Check out my other listings. Hey, well, since she said check out her other listings, I'm going to check them out right now and broadcast them to 70,000 subscribers. What else is she selling? Let's actually see what else she has sold. Passport. Speaking of passports, I need to get mine. Yeah, she's got a bunch of cool items. Well, that's a nice little Irish sweater. Looks like she's selling a lot of women's clothing. Things. Very nice. Awesome. So big shout out to this seller. Uh, two more items I want to share with you. Here we have a Missoni. Um, Sony is a fabulous brand. I've used that word twice, haven't I? It's a great brand. It's awesome. Missoni, I love it. They have a lot of colorful items. This is kind of like one of their like signature patterns right here. It'll be different color schemes, but it's like these striped, I don't know, various color patterns. It's it's hard to describe, but this sold for $49 right here. This is an awesome brand to be on the lookout for. Masoni, be on the lookout for Masoni sweaters. 
kind of come off as like Kooji sweaters. They almost have that same kind of feel to it. Crazy colors. Um, do well. But um, I don't really have much to say about this. Just a nice medium-sized robe. Uh, terry cloth, $49. Uh, the description reads, as it loads, I'm counting to five. If it doesn't, okay, good. I, I was I was going to give it the countdown. If I had gotten to five, I would be out. Oh, this is Linda's stuff. This is actually a million-dollar seller right here. Uh, she's been featured on all different types of things, but I've actually made a video about her store before. Uh, nice listing. Cool. I don't really have much to say. Just check this, check this woman out. She got her game going down. Uh, last time I want to share with you is a, another Christian Dior uh, robe, right? This is size. What size is it? Um, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. I think it's just one size fits all. Uh, yeah, it is. So there's the tag right there. $49.99. Why is this item selling for $49.99? Is it the brand? Probably not. Uh, I think it's the color and just the design. It just looks really freaking cool, right? It's just weird. It's really, really weird. And that's the stuff that sells. Uh, a couple small areas were where fabric is thin. Uh, please look at pictures and description. So I like that they have this there. In the There is a little you know, issue here and there, right? Um, eleven thirteen shipping. I like it. Let's take a look at the, the full description. One size. Wow. A lot of effort put into this description right here. <laughs> I would have definitely liked some measurements. Um, go to read the description. One size. Okay. Thank you. What else do we have? Yeah. I would have liked some more measurements. Uh, pictures are, are good. I actually like the background. Uh, the seller is Juju B's nine to five. So not a bad sale at all. Um, yeah, spend some more time, guys and gals, going through the sold listings. There's a lot of robes that are selling. So hopefully this proves to you that there is money in sleepwear and robes. A lot of different items that are selling, right, from L.L. Bean to Pendleton. Um, you know, obviously Playboy. There's another one that sold for 65 Woolrich. Whew, look at that pattern. Very cool. Brooks Brothers. Um items Derek Rose there's another one that sold for a hundred so be sure to dive into it dual the trading company I didn't know they had uh Duke and Dingham wow look at that with the polo flag on the back I would have thought that would have sold for more than 49.99 so uh let me put the self and let's see if we have 50 likes we are going to have a party together right now so cool I'm back in action Good to see ya. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. All right. Let me get the comments pulled up and see what's going on. Thanks. All right. So you want to know what? I promised you guys if we hit 50 likes, we were going to be giving away a book. Let me see if I could actually show you what the book is. Uh, well, I might not be able to show it to you now. I was gonna, I was gonna share my screen. Okay, cool. So I'll share this with you guys. Let me really quick, and we're gonna have a contest really, 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 really quick momentarily. So, um, okay, let me share my screen. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, cool. So we're gonna be giving away this book right here. Uh, if you're interested in this book, if you don't win, great book. Uh, Rakeandprofit.com/slash women's jeans. And you know what? I'll actually link that up in the description right now for you guys to check out if you want to check it out for one moment. Okay, 101 Killer Women's. Rakenprofit.com slash women's jeans. All right, so I put it in the description if you guys want to check that out afterwards. But we're going to be giving away this book for free right now um 101 unique women's jeans that sell on ebay you're going to find a picture of the tag popular model styles and keywords for each brand of course an estimated resale value range um the market size and demand so you know how often are these things selling is there a big demand is there a big group of people who are looking to buy this item the level of difficulty to find a special jackpot item for each brand that we share within women's jeans which there's a great opportunity to make money with women's jeans and of course you're gonna get access to our special Facebook community um, just for people who purchase this guide and it's 
you know, the, the community is based solely around women's jeans. So we're going to give away this guide right now. Let me take the screen share back off and just want to share that with you guys really quick. Cool. So, all right, guys, what I want you to do, I want you to go into the comments right now. Uh, let me get back to the... Okay, sorry. I want you to go in the comments right now. And what I want you to do is type in what your favorite brand of or sleepwear that we went that we went across. Name a brand that we talked about today in this in this live stream that you learned about, right? So maybe it was Ralph Lauren or maybe it was Brooks Brothers. But I want you to to come up with a brand that you learned about in today's go out and look for and, and, and buy and sell and make some money. So um, now I'm going to randomly pick a winner. We got Rad Seller saying Derek Rose, Mike Costa saying Playboy, Boston's Best Flip saying Burberry. So you guys can enter as many times as you want. If you want to keep uh, copying and pasting, you can definitely do that. I wouldn't recommend doing it more than three or four times because YouTube might feed for for spamming so maybe do it a couple times if you like um but i am going to pick a winner and the winner's going to get 101 killer women's jeans brands by myself prof sales and car and his wife so um people naming brands a dual of trading company christian dior missoni i'm going to give you guys about 30 more seconds to type in your answers and i'm going to scroll through and i'm going to pick a winner we got a lot of a lot of comments coming in and thanks for all the likes as well, guys. In order to enter the contest, I forgot to tell you, you've got to like the video. Video, put in your favorite brand that you learned about today. And we are going to go in right now. So I'm going to start scrolling to pick a winner. You guys are going to have to trust me that I'm just doing this ethically. I'm just going through and I'm literally just scrolling up and down. I know you can't see my screen. Um, but I'm just literally scrolling up and down. I'm going to count to 10, and when it stops, that's going to be the winner. So 10, 9, 8, keep putting in those comments, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The winner is Jennifer's. Treasures reseller coming in with Missoni. I am going to screenshot that right now. Didn't screenshot that. Let me do that. So Jennifer's Treasures. Let me come in here, do a little screen share really quick. Uh, see my screen. This is the winner right here. Jennifer's Treasures reseller Missoni. What I want you to do is send me an email to rakeandprofit at gmail.com. What I need from you is a screenshot from inside your YouTube dashboard uh, attached to the email. Let me know you're the winner so I can actually see that it's you because I always get a couple people who say, hey, it's me. And then it's like, well, who's the winner? Um, so send me that screenshot, send over an email, but congratulations. You won 101 killer Women's Jeans Brands, which is a $60 book. So congratulations. That's 100% free for you. Uh, Mike Rally, man. Sorry. I know I know you wanted it. You were close. You were actually the next one down. You came really, really close to winning, man. The universe wanted to give you that book. So um, maybe next time. But anyways, let me take the screen share off. So congratulations. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys have any questions, I'm going to actually go into the comments now and answer any questions. Do you guys... Um, and Mike Riley, I'll give you 50% off, man. How about that? How's the negotiation? If you want it, you can send me an email. I'll give you a 50% off code. You know what? I'll give you a 75% off code. Sales and car and created the books. I don't know if they want me giving away like two copies, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll hook you up, man. Just send me an email. We'll, we'll take care of you. Um, if you guys have any questions about selling clothing on eBay or anything, drop a line down below. A lot of cool comments coming in. Hey, CT Whale, good to see you. Boston's uh, Best Flip says, good to hear from you this morning. Hey, maybe sometimes, sometime we'll get up. I've gone thrifting in Boston. TK, I will check. I will check the emails. I apologize for not getting back to you sooner. Uh, the weekends are kind of tough for me because I'm running around like crazy, so I haven't really gotten to the emails yet. But I will. Sorry about that. Uh, Seventeen seventy six asks, uh, "What's the best sizes?" 
when it comes to clothing, all sizes will sell. Um, you know, when it comes to sleepwear and robes, I'm not sure what the best sizes are, to be honest. But in general, because I just don't have a ton of experience selling them. Uh, but in general, with clothing, the bigger, the better. So the extra larges, the 2Xs, the 3Xs, the 4Xs can really bring in a really, really, especially when you get to 3X plus dealing with brands like um, Ralph Lauren. You start finding Ralph Lauren button front shirts 3X. The price like doubles almost, at least 30% more. Um, so I like the um, I like the higher prices, uh, the bigger sizes. They they yield higher prices. So Anaz B. Hilaire, I know I slaughtered your name. I apologize. Uh, well, we'll just call you Anna. Do you wash the clothing before shipping them? I don't most of the time, 90% of the time. Well, probably 99% of the time, to be honest. I'm not washing clothing. If the clothing has any issues where if I was the buyer and I was to receive it in the mail and I'd be offended, like if it was crusty like that Pendleton robe I was telling you about or if it had any strong odors or smells, um, you know, I would wash it. I would get it done. But just consider when you spend time washing it or getting it, uh, you know, getting it worked on, if you have to drop it off at a place, that's time. Time is money. So you've got to factor that into your your buying decision. And you want to make sure that there's enough left, you know, for, for you based on the time that you put in. So I usually don't wash uh, items. So most people don't as well. But it's definitely a nice, a nice gesture. Deb says, that was nice of you to offer Mike 75% off. No problem. We got you guys. Rad Seller says, hey, saw your transformation photo on Instagram. By the way, so impressive. I appreciate that. Thank you. I've been working really hard, um, doing workouts one to two times a day. I mean, I'm, I'm getting in sometimes 10 to 12 workouts a week. I'm just, I'm going crazy, right? It's like the biggest loser. But uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, I've got a lot of big goals in my health and fitness areas. Sipping my coffee and enjoying this awesome chat today. Thanks. I appreciate that. Thanks for coming on in. Uh, Renee asked, can you put dryer sheets in the bags to make the clothes smell better? That's actually a really good tip. I've done that before and you can, uh, I wouldn't put the whole sheet in, but you can just like snip off a little piece of the dryer sheet, throw it in the poly bag. You know, a poly bag is a great way to present your item to your customer. So say you have a robe that you sold, fold it up, put it in a poly bag, maybe cut off a little piece of, um, a nice scented one. You could talk it in the bag. Um, I have heard arguments from people saying, hey, that's not a good idea because some people are allergic. Um, that might offend a small percentage of people, but I've never had any issues with that. Uh, Boston's Best Flip says, time management is everything. I'm working to improve mine all the time. I mean, is you never have enough time to do everything. That's just, that's just how it is, right? There's so many different areas of life from like health and fitness to relationships to business and finance. And then you can just dive so deep into each one. We haven't even talked about spirituality or contribution. There really isn't enough time to do everything. Um, there's only enough time for your priorities. So try to pick a couple things that really would have the biggest impact on your life and do those first and get those done. And then everything else essentially has to wait. So um, that's the key to time management is figuring out what's the most important things you have to do um, that really shape and mold your life. and, and, and move you in the direction that you want to go. Thanks, Deb. I appreciate it. Mike Riley says, Steve, what's your email address or should I contact you through the green room? Send me an email over at rakeandprofit at gmail.com and uh, I'll definitely take care of you. Excuses or get results, bro. That's it. It's, it's true. I mean, it's, we have a lot of limiting beliefs. I, I talk to a lot of people and it's, it's amazing, myself included, the, the limiting beliefs that we have and that we hold ourselves down to, you know. Ship jackets and suits. Uh, it really depends. Jackets and suits, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to depend based on how big they are, how much they weigh, and the location. So I could ship those items either flat rate, medium box, or sometimes I'll use a regional box. Um, other times I'll just go straight priority based on the weight. Uh, so it really depends. You got to go into the back end of eBay and just mess around with, with the different settings to see what's going to work out best. But, um, a lot of regional rates, if it's close, um, if it's far and it's heavy, sometimes I'll have to do the flat rate. Uh, but it really depends. Uh, Red Rocket Resale says, Steve, do you batch cook meals? I don't. Um, right now, I'm not. I've done it before. I haven't been super consistent with it. I actually eat out quite a bit. Um, essentially, my diet recently is I, I do intermittent fasting at this point. 
I'd be eating around like eight or nine at night, work out in the morning, usually anywhere between like from like eight to 10. And then I have a smoothie. Then I have lunch around like to one. L lately, it's either been like, like Chinese food. Like I'm like, I'm like really specific. It's just like chicken with green beans where I'll go to Chipotle. Um, and then a lot of times it's just like having a salad or it's having some type of like rice and chicken or something like that. Uh, but I haven't been, I did do some crock pot recipes last week, which was fun, but I, I need to get back into the, uh, the, the batching and, and pre cooking meals. It is, it is difficult to eat out. I know it's kind of affecting some of my results. Only time to step it up. Bill B says, got onto men's sleepwear with my sale of Hanro, $150 best offer. Wow, and it looks like they put an item number. Cool, so definitely check that out. Red Rocket says, I use the free extra large priority poly bags. Order them online. Very cool. Intermittent fasting is official. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know my, my good friend Dave Kozeel, but um, mastermind, this was probably, I don't know, two months ago. We met up in South Carolina. I think he was weighing in around like 200. He had put on a couple pounds, he said, and uh, he sent me an update picture the other day and I think he, he was down to like 180 something and he had like a freaking six pack and everything. And the main thing he was doing was intermittent. And I was like, wow. So I've, I've started doing that myself. Uh, Jason says you should do a vid on how to research the sourcing guidance tab on eBay. I know how to go through it, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that don't. Yeah, I'll definitely make a specific video about that. Is New York City in the house. Love watching your channel. Awesome. I was actually just in uh, the Bronx the other day. I went out with a uh, there and went to a Halloween party. It was pretty fun. It's different. Fasting, that's interesting. Looking into that. Yeah, you know, one thing I found, I actually made a video the other day talking about 10 ways to boost energy and, and self-motivation. And you've got to be very, very careful with what you put in your body. Um, I've found that my energy levels swing dramatically based on what I eat and the quantities. Um, keeping my caffeine down, keeping my carbs down early on in the day, and having smaller meals really helps to have more sustainable energy. So if you find yourself losing a lot of motivation around certain times of the day, take a look at what types of foods you're eating. If you're eating a lot of high-carb, starchy meals, a lot of rices and breads and pastas, um, carbs a little bit at certain times to increase productivity. Um, that's one thing that I've definitely been doing. Actually, when I, when I'm not full and like, I only eat smaller meals, I have a lot better energy throughout the day. I'm much more productive. So, um, I'm becoming very, very sensitive to the foods I eat and how I feel in my productivity. The best place to shop for men's shoes. Um, you know, for me, it's going to be thrift stores, flea markets. Um, I don't go to a lot of flea markets, but I'm just talking from what I've heard others uh, mention. Uh, but typically thrift stores is probably going to be your best way. You could also go to like Plato's Closet, consignment shops. I actually just bought a, bought a pair of uh, really nice American Eagle uh, shoes from a consignment shop the other day behind me. But um, they're all over. There's a lot of ways, but mostly thrift stores going to be the best way. Boston's Best Flips says, time to get working. Thanks so much for making this video, Rakin. Have a great day. See you, everyone. Hey, thanks, Boston Flips. Appreciate it. About it, guys. I um, want to thank you all for watching this live stream. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, yeah, I look forward to chatting with you guys in the next video. So have a great one, and check you later.